Hey everybody, welcome to another quick uh, video update on what's new this week. I wanted to make this video to kind of show off the all the UI changes I've been doing. I know I've been working on the uh, the garage for quite some time now. So here's the pretty new UI. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I uh, spent a lot of time working on the layout and making it pretty. So uh, there's a couple of new things here that I haven't covered that have kind of only been in the snapshot builds. So one of them is the four green square boxes up at the top next to the weight. Um, those are deployment indicators. Um, basically, they show, you know, starting from at the top left, you know, if you're underweight, if you have the right um, weight. So if you're overweight, it turns red. The other one is making sure that you have all your weapon settings set. So if you have a weapon that hasn't been assigned to a weapon group, that will be red. Um, the curvy arrow is to say if a part has an incorrect rotation. The only parts that have rotation rules right now are cockpits um, that have to be facing upright and forward. So you can't have like an upside down cockpit or anything like that. Um, it will turn transparent and say there's all kinds of stuff wrong and the box will turn red. And the last box is um, if you have parts colliding, it will turn red and those will prevent, prevent you from deploying. Um, so next thing I want to show you is the pretty UI. So everything's been redone in this new UI style. Um, the add part, you know, has a whole new layout. You know, it helps, it helps all the searching and everything like that. Um, but everything's kind of a lot cleaner. It's a lot faster. It's um, quite a bit optimized. And and the new feature that I'm actually really excited about, which is why I'm kind of talking fast is the ability to actually save out your builds um, and load them again. So that's been a long awaited feature that I've been putting off forever. I apologize for that, but it's finally in. Uh, I fixed a few of the bugs that it had um, in the last snapshot. So let's give it a test run. Let's go ahead and save this guy out. And it's saved. We can, we can load him back in, get a nice preview. So even if we want to experiment around um, try some different things. We don't like it. We can go back and load our old guy back. So um, it's really great for um, you know creating kind of your own personal armada or fleet or army or column of Mavs. Uh, I don't really know what the um, you know term would be a brigade of Mavs. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can build them all up, uh, have them at your disposal. So if you're in the middle of a multiplayer game, you can quickly change between them. And you're not having to stay in the garage building instead of, you know, out on the battlefield helping your team. So this is in the latest snapshot build. It needs to go through uh, one more uh, build of bug testing to make sure that it is stable. And then it will go out as a stable release and everybody can have it and everybody can experience the new awesomeness of the new UI. Um, which I'm hoping will be the final UI. Uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for watching the video and being excited about Mav and Mav's new UI.